My family has always been big into conspiracies. My brother likes to ramble about the Illuminati and believes that Obama is the Antichrist. My mom can trace literally anything in life back to the government's fault and constantly worries about being arrested and shipped overseas for absolutely no reason. My dad, although staying silent most of the time, agrees with what my mom says. It really just annoys the crap out of me when I hear them spewing all the 2012 into the world garbage, so I usually attempt to slip quietly off into my room. That is, before my mother follows me and decides to continue half of her conversation from just outside my door. For the last year, I've been kind of keeping more to myself. When I'm not in class or doing the countless hours of homework per week that I have to do, I'm usually doing the typical hermit teenage stuff. Watching TV, screwing around on the internet, knitting, or playing video games. I really enjoyed horror games and movies and just scary stuff in general. I use the past tense of enjoy because it's safe for me to say that no, I do not enjoy them anymore. Going back a year or so, I had finally saved up enough to buy a laptop, something that I thought was cool, and it came with a built-in microphone and webcam, two things that I've never had before. The first thing that my brother told me to do was put a piece of masking tape over my webcam. He also said, whatever I do, don't sleep with my laptop on. He thinks people can watch you through your webcam even when it's not on. Like I was about to believe that. Him, being older than I, ever since we were kids, he would always try to bully me into being gullible, like getting me to eat dog biscuits when I was five, insisting that if I did, I would know how to speak dogs. Or telling me to lick a 9 volt battery for God knows what reason. What an idiot. As I've grown up, I've learned to trust him less and less, and this whole people spying on me through my webcam business sounded nothing short of idiotic. For the last few months, I've suffered from insomnia, and the only way that I could go to sleep was with some type of white noise machine. Every night, I had the same routine. After finishing my homework, I would watch an episode or two of whatever show I seemed to be fixated with at the time on Netflix or Hulu, then plug in my laptop, set it on my nightstand in front of me, and go to rainymood.com before shutting off my screen light and letting the rain noises lull me to sleep. At the time, I associated the nightmares with insomnia. I figured it was just a side effect. It was bizarre, though. I've always had vivid dreams, but I hadn't had nightmares since I was a kid. I thought it was something everyone grew out of, and although it wasn't the same dream every night, it was the same basic concept. There's always the sound of rain. I presume from the white noise I set before I fell asleep. I walk into a room, usually something familiar. My bedroom, my dad's workshop, the daycare room that I work at, my old high school theater, or my English classroom at the college. But there are always people waiting there for me. All the people that I knew, my mom, dad, brother, neighbors, both old and current friends and teachers, and sometimes even some of the children I watch while I'm at work. They're all lined up around the perimeter of the room, shoulder to shoulder, staring at me, none saying a word. They just stare. I move around the room, and their eyes follow me. A dozen chilling, terrifying stares drill into me. In my dream, I never have the sense to flee the area. After an eternity of tense silence, someone finally speaks. It's my brother. He says, Don't mind us, we're only here to observe. Carry on. Frightened in a cold sweat, I do what I'm told. I do my homework. I knit. I play a game. Whenever I look up for my task, they look at me, scowling angrily. Then, they all take one simultaneous step forward, tightening the area around me. I panic and look back to my task at hand. My fingers forget how to write or type or knit or do anything. And whenever I fumble and my productivity stops, I feel the anger, the pure malice from these people who I've come to know and care for. I feel my skin tingling. They take another step. Claustrophobia sets in and I start hyperventilating and break out in a cold sweat. Another step. I hear growling? This is inhuman. Not even animal-like sounding growls coming from the wall of... Ugh, I can't even call them people, these things surrounding me. It's something that you wouldn't ever be able to recreate with special effects, even if you tried. It's the most disturbing thing I've ever heard. Another step. Another step. With the enclosure narrowed down to less than a foot on every side of me, I feel a hand on the back of my head. I always assume the worst, that perhaps the hand is going to tear out the back of my skull, but the jagged nails just run through my hair. 
I hear a voice. Hush now. I turn to see a figure. Someone I've never met before. He is so distorted, there's no way that I could have ever met someone like this, except maybe at a costume party on Halloween. His eyes are missing. There's nothing but two big black holes where they should be. He smiles and dark red liquid slides off his jagged teeth and lands on his lower lip. He suddenly grabs the back of my hair and jerks me around until I'm facing the crowd of people I used to recognize. He laughs like a madman. The dim light makes it hard to make everything out. They all have very dark circles under their eyes and red pupils. They glare at me with pure hatred. Everything is all right. With that, they all lunge at me, screeching. This is the point where I wake up. Sleep paralysis usually leads me into a panic and crying like a little child. I can still feel the tightness around my throat, the jagged nails in my hair, and the pressure in my chest. My pillow is always drenched in sweat. I've never connected the two until now, but I always get this nightmare when I leave my laptop open while I sleep. Let's see, um, I fell asleep around 11 last night. If the time is 3.53 now, I would say about 45 minutes ago I woke up. I turned over and reached for my glasses so that I could check the time. I can't find my phone, so since my laptop is right in front of me, I turned on the screen so that I can see the clock. Something caught my eye first. <laughs> Skype was opened. I'm currently in a phone call with number 000000000000. Zero. The call time is currently 4 hours and 25 minutes. The man I've seen in my dreams all these months is on the other line. He's watching me, still. He's only said one thing to me. Don't mind me. I'm only here to observe. Carry on. If I could leave anyone with any piece of advice, it's this. Don't ever sleep with your laptop open. <laughs>